Now, another member of Congress from the 40th District of California. She serves on the Appropriations Committee, and I'm honored to ask that she consume as much time as she may, the Honorable Lucille Royball Allard. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, let me begin by commending uh, Congressman Green for his leadership in helping to highlight the tragedy of domestic violence in our country and for arranging today's special order. While it is true that we have made some progress toward addressing violence against women, the fact remains that nearly one-third of women in the United States still report being physically or sexually abused by a partner in their lifetime. Domestic violence, dating violence, sexual assault and stalking lead to severe social health and economic consequences for women and our communities. With the estimated cost of violence exceeding $70 billion each year. Our nation's economic crisis has hammered home the sad truth that financial concerns often keep victims in abusive relationships. Studies indicate that economic independence is a key predictor of whether a victim will be able to break the cycle of violence and leave her abuser. Far too often, it is difficult for victims to maintain employment in the aftermath of domestic violence, especially if they require time off for medical appointments, court appearances, and for their own safety. As a result, women who experience domestic violence are more likely than other women to be unemployed, to suffer from health problems that impact employability and job performance, to report lower personal income, and to rely on welfare. These poor economic outcomes often perpetuate the abuse. For the last 16 years, I have introduced legislation that would help ensure victims of domestic violence, sexual assault, and stalking have the financial independence they need to break free from their abusers. The Security and Financial Empowerment Act, or SAFE Act, would allow survivors to take unpaid time off from work to make necessary court appearances, seek legal assistance, and get help with safety planning without the fear of losing their job. The SAFE Act would prohibit employers or insurance providers from basing hiring insurance coverage decisions on individuals' history of abuse and ensure eligibility for unemployment benefits should a survivor be forced to leave her job due to circumstances stemming from domestic violence. The SAFE Act empowers victims of domestic violence with greater employment protections and increased economic stability to break the all-too-common cycle of dependence and abuse. As Domestic Violence Awareness Month comes to an end, let us not forget the victims of domestic violence. I ask my colleagues to join me in ensuring financial freedom for those suffering from domestic abuse by co-sponsoring the SAFE Act. And I encourage my colleagues to support Congressman Green's H. Res. 392 to make sure that we continue to highlight this tragedy of domestic violence in our country so that one day there will be no domestic violence and that it will be unnecessary for us to be here in the, uh, this hall of Congress talking about this tragedy. I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you so much.